Hey there, it's Steve and Courtney from Serious Keto. And in this video, we are going to do a major, major review of different chocolate chips. So we've got three brands here. Mm -hmm. We have Bake Believe, Chalk Zero, and Lily's. And we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head on milk chocolate, white chocolate, and dark chocolate. And then we're also going to try out these specialty Lily's brands here. Now, what's kind of cool is Lily's now is at Walmart and actually also at our local grocery store. They're at a lot of grocery stores. Lily's is really the common one. I mean, they're at most grocery stores around us. And you know this because? Because I do Instacart shopping. So I go to a lot of grocery stores and I'm always seeing Lily's. I've, I haven't seen either of these two brands ever in a grocery store. Well, I know that Bake Believe is also at Walmart. Oh, okay. And this big, this jumbo bag yeah. right here, Costco now mm -hmm. also carries it. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's cool. Chalk Zero, I think, uh, you know, Amazon has mm -hmm. it, but it's cheaper to get directly from their website. Plus, I mean, it's just cheaper without any coupon code but it's then even 10% cheaper with a Serious Keto coupon code. But what I'm gonna have you do, I'm gonna have you blind taste test each of these. Oh, okay. Just because, so that it doesn't appear like there's some sort of bias, you know, for me, okay. like for Chalk Zero. Yeah, okay. Um, also, people just love having you do reviews because they say you have an unfiltered honesty. Okay, cool. I'm gonna prep the three bowls. Okay. And uh, I'll have you close your eyes while I do them. Okay. I like doing this. You like this? Yeah. All right. You can open your eyes now. Okay. So we have the three different white chips. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. These ones are pretty little, whatever they are. Yep, there's definitely one that's smaller. It seems yeah. like they get bigger as, they we go, do. as we go across. I'm gonna have a couple too. Sweet, mm. kind of soft, cocoa buttery maybe. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It's. Uh, I mean, white chocolate is different than normal chocolate, so. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it's not a strong, strong flavor, and I, I feel like no. white chocolate usually has a little bit more of a, a mouth coating. Yeah. Sort of feel to it. Erythritol. Absolutely. Immediately. Strong erythritol mm -hmm. on that one. Too much. Yeah, I mean, I got hit immediately. I sensed sweet, but then just cold. Yeah, very. Yeah, that was, I didn't like that one as much. Mm. This one's my favorite. I like that one too. Let's, uh, Let's first look at the one that we, can we both agree this is the yeah. third best? And that was Bake Believe. Okay. Yeah, very strong erythritol. Yeah, I didn't, wasn't a fan of that. So, between these two, you want to give them another shot? Or are you quite convinced? I know that this one was my favorite. This one was your favorite? Lily's. Crunchier. I like when my chocolate chips are... Crunchy. Yeah, but they're not dry. No. It's just there's a... You got to kind of bite through them. Yeah. As you should. I'm going to try this again. A slight cooling. There, yes, there is in the lilies. There's a little bit of cooling still in the lilies. No cooling effect. No. At all. At all. In the chalk zero. Yes. All right, you can open your eyes. We now have the milk chocolate. Okay. All right, here we go. Very chocolatey. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, and not overly sweet. Mm -mm. And I'm not really getting any erythritol. No, nope. me neither. I mean, that's, that tastes like a, like a good cup of hot chocolate. Yeah, I nice think. chocolate chip. That's good. Mm 
I'm kind of getting that little gummy feel to it a little bit. Really? Yeah. There's a different texture to it in your mouth. I don't know the word to describe it. It's almost a little caramely. Yeah. You know, in terms of just the way it chews. Mm -hmm. It's just not like a normal chocolate chip if we're comparing. And the chocolate really hits on the very end. Yeah. I don't get a whole lot in the front. I gotta take a little drink before okay. I try the last one. All right. Total erythritol. I don't get that much erythritol okay. from it. Which is your favorite? The first one. Same. Is it Lily's? Um, it is Baked Believe. So Baked Believe, which really was very strong erythritol yeah. on the white chips. I didn't get any. No. Really like that milk chocolate. Yeah. I mean, to me, that, that was really good. Um, I don't have a strong strong preference between the other two. It's probably obvious which is Chalk Zero because they're the smallest chips. Yeah. And then here we have Lily's is our third one. Which one do you would you call second? I would put Lily's second. I would put Chalk Zero third. Okay. And now we have the dark chocolate. Okay. Start right here. You know, those first ones, they've got sort of a white exterior to them, or sort of, I don't yeah. know if that's powdery or that. And both of these are little, so it's yes. like, I don't know whose is whose. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm a fan. I like the crunch. I like when my chocolate chips are hard, not soft. So that's good. Yep. Chocolatey. Very chocolatey. It's dark chocolate. Did you get any erythritol? No erythritol from there. Me neither. Okay. Second one. Maybe a, just a tiny, tiny bit at the end. Okay. I don't think I notice erythritol as much as you do. But. Okay. Yeah, you, you notice stevia. I notice erythritol. Yeah. I don't get as much of a dark chocolate flavor from them as I would hope. Like no, when it's... you put dark chocolate in your mouth, you should be like, you taste that bitter right away. Yep. I didn't. Yeah, this is, is not, it doesn't have that bitterness that you're used to. Yeah. And the texture is a lot softer as well. Mm -hmm. Especially compared to those ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, and final chips. These ones are really little. Once again, I'm just not hit with that dark chocolate flavor. No, the first, the first one. If you like dark chocolate, it's that first one that yeah. just brings it. Yeah, but these other two, they're not that dark. No, they, they seem, they're, they're kind of mild in comparison. Yeah, which really surprises me because, you know, like this is sugar-free chocolate. You'd think that they would just, it wouldn't be that Yeah, it should be hard an, it should to be, get it. <laughs> dark chocolate should be a pretty easy putt, Yeah, I would but think. It's, these two just, they're not as dark as they should be. So 100%, this first one's the winner. All right. Lilies. Lilies. All right, so to recap, our favorite white was Lilies. Lilies. Our favorite dark was Lilies. Mm -hmm. Our favorite milk chocolate was Baked Believe. Correct. And I think in each one of the instances, though, Chalk Zero was sort of second place. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now that we got that out of the way, there were at least three other flavors that I saw at Walmart. I think maybe only three other flavors because if there were other flavors, I probably would have bought them just out of curiosity. We've got chocolate mint flavor, salted caramel flavor, or salted caramel, depending on how you pronounce it, and butterscotch. So I'm thinking we start with the butterscotch. Okay. Probably go butterscotch, salted caramel, mint. Sure. You're not a fan of mint. I hate mint chocolate. Okay. I really hate it. All right. Well, that'll be fun then, won't it? Ooh, I just got hit with the, the smell just immediately upon opening it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. And mm. It smells pretty good, don't you think? Yes. If this tastes as good as it smells, I'm going to say, to me, 
this reminds me more of eating an actual butterscotch hard candy than eating butterscotch chips. I've never had butterscotch chips, but right off the bat, I get the butterscotch. Very good. And then at the end, I get the erythritol. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a little bit of cooling on yeah. this at the end with the erythritol. But wowzers, that packs a lot of butterscotch flavor. Yeah. I'm really smelling the caramel. Not as strong as I smelt the butterscotch. Yeah. I don't get the caramel till the till the end. At about the same point, I get the erythritol. But you like it actually feels like you just had some caramel in your mouth. Yeah, the the aftertaste, I feel like I totally ate caramel. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't I don't get a lot of salt though. The salted aspect. Really, I got the salt. Really? Okay. Yeah, I got the salted caramel. I liked them. All right. I thought they were okay. Okay. So finally we have the mint chips, which, you know, if we eventually try and make like a keto Girl Scout mint thin cookie. You could do that. I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> There's something about it that really tastes not right to me. It tastes like, um, almost like fennel, mm. like almost a little like fennel to me is what I'm picking up. Didn't love it. I mean, oh, um, me neither, but I first like of all, it. it tastes to me not at all like any mint chocolate chip sort of stuff. It doesn't taste like mint chocolate chip, like grasshopper, uh, ice cream. It doesn't taste like uh, girl scout cookie. And like I said, I, I, I feel the taste in my mouth right now. It, it reminds me a lot of fennel seed, which is not a flavor that I like in my chocolate. So I'm gonna say this butterscotch, probably my favorite out of these three flavors, although a little bit carby. Yeah. Um, depending on how much you're having. After that, salted caramel, mint chocolate. Mm, no, probably look elsewhere. This is yeah. not, Lily's is not the brand you're looking for. So I don't, I don't really have any closing thoughts. I think we, no. you know, we, we know what we like. We agreed across the board on them. Yeah. And uh, hopefully this was helpful to you if you're looking to buy some chocolate chips, right. either to make cookies or to melt and make fat bombs. Now you know what we think. Right, yeah. Got your options, got your discount code. It's in your hands from here. Yep. So what do you say? See you next time. Thanks for watching.